Alright, uh, Assalamualaikum Very good morning, good afternoon, good evening Wherever you, whenever you look at this particular video So, uh, this is your instructor, Doria Addressing you for the last time uh, Before we end the semester Now, uh, the purpose of this particular uh, video Is to review um, your um, marks how you fare in terms of a section uh, for this particular course called Quality Management in Education. So uh, essentially, we are all in one class, but then uh, we are using two separate codes um, for for this uh, course. So the first course, uh, the first code, sorry, is MHPA two two six three. Nine of you were registered under this code. And then for the rest of you, uh, 21 in total, uh, we are using the course code MPPA1363. So essentially what we did in this particular course throughout the semester, if I can just uh, recap, is to understand what it means in, uh, for quality in education. And then um, to also understand uh, how should we manage quality um, within the context of uh, education? So what we're focusing is uh, schools, uh, since a lot of you here are um, school teachers slash uh, teachers coming from international schools uh, slash uh, teachers at, uh, from different education centers um, around the, uh, the country. We also have international uh, um, uh, colleagues who, who were with us uh, for this particular uh, course. So uh, that's the overview of this course. Um, it is my second time teaching this particular course. This was an elective uh, offered by the faculty, uh, sorry, school to be exact. Uh, School of Education, uh, Faculty of Social Sciences and Humanities, UDM. So uh, it was it is usually offered uh, once uh, per academic term. So uh, I'm very lucky to have around um, thirty of you uh, with me uh, for this particular course. Um, the figure was about three times uh, uh, more. Uh, than the student batch from the previous um, edition of this course, which is around nine students in total. So uh, let me get straight to uh, reviewing the results. So uh, in general, everyone is doing well. Um, all of you passed. Uh, a lot of you hover between A, A minus, um, a few of you got A plus. Uh, now, uh, my belief is that um, this particular course uh, shouldn't have a final exam, uh, which is why uh, how we how uh, the whole course was designed so that you complete a number of coursework rather than uh, study for uh, theory slash concepts and then sit for the exam at the end of the semester. So um, my personal view is that um, you can't uh, control quality. You can't uh, truly um, define what quality is within the uh, education sector because it is viewed from different perspective. So um, whatever that you put on paper uh, in terms where if if a final exam were to be held uh, for this particular course, uh, it would be a um, textbook answer, which uh, we know, we all know, uh, things happen in, in schools, in institutions, in colleges, universities. Um, so there will never be this perfection um, that, that you, you want to uh, uh, the, the that you can uh, you have to strive for the only thing that you can do is every day um, improve some parts of what you do uh, so that you get closer to um, perfection 
uh, that particular paraphrase term happened to be from this particular book called When Breath Becomes Air. Uh, one of my favorite books, uh, by the way. So, uh, coming back, um, generally everyone scored very well for this particular course. Um, what, uh, what you can look forward to after this is that go uh, through your uh, student portal, uh, check out your results. Um, it should be ready uh, as promised <laughs> on, on 25th uh, of um, February 8 a.m. Um, took me a while to finish marking for everyone because number one, I procrastinated. Uh, number two, um, never assume that you know. Uh, when you need few X days to mark, you can finish it within X days. Um, as Murphy Law comes in, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. I think uh, what I noticed is that a lot of you were unwell uh, when the final assessment was released. Um, I myself took a, quite a while to recover after my booster shot, so totally understand where you guys are at the moment. In, take care of yourself, uh, no matter where you are, if you can get um, a booster shot, get it. Um, the sooner we get out of this corona situation, the better. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, go on to your student portal and check your score uh, online. It should be live on 25th of uh, February. The other area where you can check out your marks is on UTM eLearning, our course page. Uh, that, that is where I will put in a detailed breakdown of uh, your score. So, uh, I want to be as transparent as possible. Um, how you get a, uh, what, how many marks do you get? Uh, for example, I really want to tell, uh, tell you every detail of it. So, uh, there is an Excel file uh, detailing your course marks uh, on e-learning. So, go check it out. Uh, at the same time, I have also put in um, your assignments. The assi what what happened was that I downloaded all your uh, work and then um, I mark it on my tablet. It uh, translation I can do it uh, lying down, walking around the house, standing, sitting, uh, convenience in in other words. And then I re-upload everything on uh, e-learning. So. Uh, if you want to know um, the some some of your mark, uh, some of your assignments I did like put some marking on it, some didn't. So go and check out your your work. And um, now, if you look at the Excel file that you downloaded from eLearning, um, you would notice that if I give you this particular task, for example, a case study discussion. Uh, it it um it's twenty marks out of the overall course marks. You most likely will get twenty marks. Uh, there was a team that didn't didn't hit the twenty marks because I asked to redo. So I took up some marks from that particular uh total marks. So generally, if you get things done, uh, submit it to me, you will get the score. So that's why there's a lot of A's, A minuses uh, in this course. But if you want to know whether you get it or not in terms of um, this, um, what we're supposed to learn for this particular course, go and have a look at the individual projects. The total score uh, that you get from this individual project. So very few of you scored 35. Uh, if you get 35, meaning I'm really satisfied with what you do. Um, you generally get it in terms of the cost learning uh, objectives that I uh, I need to deliver to you. Um, one person didn't submit work, so the whole uh, individual project uh, scored zero. Um, one person, I don't know what you're doing. Um, very general uh, descriptions of writing. I don't understand what kind of problem that you are trying to solve. So, 
you only score 10 marks for that um, a number of you got the minimum pass meaning to say if uh, if the project is 40 marks you get 20 marks uh, you did hit on the SWOT analysis uh, PDCA uh, table um, identifying the processes introducing the context of your your work um, however it it shows a lot a lot of uh, loopholes around in terms of your analysis um, either this was a last minute job number one or number two you were doing it when uh, when things happen for example there's a big flood coming and then uh, corona is around and then there might be some things that are happening on you uh, which affected how you perform in terms of your project so um, and it eventually affected how you uh, deliver in terms of um, writing the best uh, case study for uh, on on things that you 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 supposed to analyze and propose. Um, look at Hanis's report. Uh, that was impressive. Hanis and the team. So there's a group of you guys who scored thirty five. Uh, go check out their work. Um, thank you for producing such quality work. And for the rest of you who scored between 20 to 25, 28, um, there's more to be read, more to be improved on. Um, it also gives me this particular uh, insight where I might need to uh, readjust the assignment a little bit for the, uh, for the upcoming batch because letting you doing it on your own might not work um, more scaffolding might, might need to be given uh, in order for you to understand uh, what is a strength what is a weakness uh, how do you look at SWOT uh, for example um, how do you do PDCA um, essentially the main problem that your, your section has is that uh, whatever that you do in SWOT it didn't really uh, reflect you, you didn't reflect what needs to be done clearly in the uh, strategies and uh, recommendation section so that's that um, that particular assignment the individual project was a new thing that I introduced for this particular for your batch uh, hit and miss so i'm going to try and improve it on the next delivery okay so now the whole rambling on uh gives me one point which i want to highlight so uh if i um which also comes back to uh the whole intention of learning this course um you may get an a for this particular course but uh, you might not, you know, um, understand fully or grasp uh, what really means to uh, what what it really means to manage quality. So um, it's a lifelong learning thing thingy. So go back and uh, read, digest, uh, do it, implement it. Um, and eventually you get it okay so uh, also reflection on me um, even though everyone on paper uh, attain certain competency uh, in terms of the, the learning objectives for the particular course but I shouldn't be too happy with the result because uh, when you the devil is in the details so um, when you look deeper into things then you realize that uh, there's more to be uh, guided for for the students actually so that's that um, okay 
Now, uh, recorded oral session, uh, that was our last uh, assessment uh, for, for the course. Um, if you notice, everyone scored full, full marks. That is because uh, the main, uh, you, you show up, you did the work, you submitted, and then I like how you presented your case. Uh, probably because uh, of the clear instruction being given uh, based on the questions, uh, question forms that I gave to, to everyone. So um, I personally love uh, the, the case study very much because um, there's a lot of things that you can unpack, discuss, argue, debate. Um, and it also reflects a, a dilemma that uh, we have within uh, not just within the, the case study that you 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 hit, but also uh, happening all around the world today. Um, so the dilemma is that do you want to uh, to look good? Uh, so okay, the dilemma. Let me rephrase it this way: you want your results to look good. So um, that's where. Um, if you do not show integrity, you might be uh, doing things that uh, that are that wrong. Um, in Bahasa, I think there's a statement called uh, "You can halalkan what is haram," something like that. Uh, the the ends doesn't justify the means, so. Um, a reminder to everyone, uh, especially now uh, where um, easily the employers can ask questions like, how do I know this particular student uh, have the skills uh, you, you graduate from uh, uh, during the, the pandemic? Mm, you scored very well, but then I did not know whether you really learn or not. Uh, the same concern uh, will be issued by parents, uh, society. So as educators, uh, it is the best of times where we can try a lot of things out. Uh, the borders uh, are not there anymore. Uh, but at the same time, it is the worst of times because people are, are starting to ask uh, the relevance of education the relevance of university, the relevance of curriculum that we deliver at schools, universities and institutions. So um, that's that. Uh, so before I uh, end this particular video, uh, I want to thank uh, Shukri. Uh, Shukri, thank you so much for uh, coordinating uh, the messages uh, the instructions and uh, becoming my uh, messenger to to your colleagues um, and then I also want to thank um, a f uh, some of you who actually left a message on really really kind message on Padlet um, my background is higher education uh, by the way but um, I have experience managing uh, and uh, looking at um, what it means to uh, to have quality education before uh, in various positions and uh, responsibilities. So um, if you want to work, uh, talk about higher education, uh, can come to me. Um, but at the same time, being in School of Education, uh, it also gives me opportunity to learn about uh, primary and secondary education. So um, that's that. What else do I need to cover? So uh, for Malaysians, the Malaysia, uh, the Malaysian teachers here, uh, you're going to start your new semester, a uh, new academic term soon. So all the best. Um, and for for those who are around the world at the moment, not in Malaysia, um, take care. Hopefully, uh, we'll meet someday. Uh, for those of you who are graduating, because I think some of you uh, have uh, have completed uh, RS two, uh, I mean research study two. Uh, 
uh, it should be your final semester you should be able to graduate soon um, so uh, congratulations on finally hitting the the the, uh, the finishing line and um, all the best in your future so that's it uh, from me uh, take care